I'm ready. Sipping that, that cup for a long time. <laughs> He's a former defensive rookie of the year out of the University of Alabama, and his tide is now rolled back into the spot that drafted him into the NFL, this time as head coach of the Houston Texans. D'Amico Ryan's joining us here on the Rich Eisen Show. How you doing, D'Amico? Hey, Rich, doing great, man. Thanks for having me on. Amazing how life works out sometimes, huh? Been incredible. <laughs> It is, man. What a what a uh, full circle moment, right? To be drafted here with the Texans and to, you know, come back as the head coach is is definitely full circle, surreal. It's just uh, it's an awesome moment, right? Awesome, awesome time. You know, special time for my family, for myself, for the city of Houston. Just everyone is fired up. Feel the energy from everyone. So, man, we're excited to get to work. So on that draft night. Uh, well, you were a second-round pick out of Houston. Who was the first individual to ever officially, first time ever, welcome you to the Houston Texans? <laughs> on the, phone? Oh, the first person I talked to that was uh, Coach Gary Kubiak. Right? He, was a, he was the first one to, to welcome me here. And uh, it, was a, it was a wild moment. The family was going crazy. You know, everybody's excited. They're going to Houston. And uh, now from that call from Coach Gary and now to be <laughs> sitting in his old office. <laughs> so it's special. Yeah, I, I bet. What if uh, I, if somebody had told you on that draft party night, everything calms down, you're finally by yourself, hey, tapped you on the shoulder, one day this is going to wind up with you being head coach of the Houston Texans yourself. What would you have said? <laughs> no way at all. There's no way I'll be, <laughs> there's no way I'll be coaching in, in NFL. Like there's, I would have never in my wildest dream imagined it at that point in time. But now, after my career and the things that transpire within my career, uh, I can see it shaping up that way, but just not at that moment. But just throughout my career, just being in the position I've been in, just leadership and leading the guys around me, right? I just I look back on that, just look back on life, just in everything, like I've been built uh, for this moment. Right, everything, you know, from high school to college, through my throughout my playing days in NFL, like just thinking of how all the things happen, right, with the coaches that I've been around and the inspiration that I've gotten from them, uh, the things that they've taught me and instilled in me, I see all of that, right, being who I, being a part of who I am. All those experiences will truly help me taking on this new role. And then, of course, you know, you couldn't uh, take a job elsewhere and then look in the back of the room and see Brian Cushing and Andre Johnson as well or somewhere <laughs> in the room. They were there yesterday, right, for your introductory press conference, those guys? Right, ton of uh, former players there. Andre Johnson, hopefully future Hall of Famer, uh, was there. Uh, Brian Cushing. As, you know, to see those guys, it was truly a special moment, Rich. Like, it, was, it just brought it back even more full circle, right, to know I – was on the battlefield, those guys, playing in the locker room, those guys. It's truly a, a brotherhood. And to see the support that they had for me, it was, a, it was an emotional uh, moment for me, special moment, and really thankful for their support. But uh, when you see a guy like Andre Johnson, that's the guy who I looked up to, you know, as a player coming in as a young player. He taught me so much of how to work as a pro, right, and, and how to lead in the community. And to see him there supporting me, it was outstanding. And we want to build our team around guys like a Brian Cushing and like Andre Johnson, J.J. Watt, right? Really great players who have laid the foundation here. Uh, congrats on the gig. Uh, yeah. Appreciate the time here. Hopefully this is the first of many times you call into this program. We chop it up about the Houston Texans. Thank, right. you, again, Rice. Thank you, Rich. Uh, have a good one. Right, Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everyone's job here, everything that we do helps us, right, to win games on that field, right? So whatever your role is, however you're involved, it's all of us collectively together being, as be being the best that we could possibly be to support our players, right? And when our players truly feel supported, they feel the love, they feel the care from everyone in the organization, right, that just gives them a little bit more Right, a little bit more gumption, a little bit more umph to go out and be their best because they know they're cared about not only 
in the football side, but if it's the marketing or the community relations, make sure we love these players up, make sure we care for them, and we'll get their absolute best. So thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all for being here today. Well, how do we want to build a team? Right? I want to build it with players who swarm. And swarm, just in general, right, you think about a swarm, it's about togetherness. Right? The swarm is powerful because you're together. Right? So that's the first thing I want to build with our team is that, that brotherhood, that togetherness, right, where we are powerful as one. And it's not just a team, we swarm as an organization, right? With everybody doing their job, everybody being their absolute best, right? We swarm and the mindset behind it is you swarm, we want people with special work ethic and relentless mindset. So I say a special work ethic is like, we have to work different than the other teams in our division if we want to beat those teams. So you have to have a special work ethic. It's going to be hard. Right? But are you willing to grind through it? And then it's that relentless mindset. So whatever it is, that task that's in front of us, do I have a relentless mindset to attack each and every day to win the day? Whatever is in front of you, whatever we ask you to do is a technique or a fundamental, are you relentless in that pursuit of really owning it and making it yours? Are you relentlessly pursuing to be the absolute best that you can be? Because I it always comes back to me with, like Nick just said it too, you know, we, we're not promised with tomorrow. So how do we take advantage of today? And it's a relentless pursuit to attack that day, win the day, just like when we practice, right? Attacking that practice, we wanna make sure we win that day, like we actually got better. Now, when we go to the field, everybody understands it's that same relentless mindset. We're trying to go one and oh each and every week. So that's what the swarm means. And, it all translates to a swarm when how we play on the field, you'll see fast attacking, everybody flying around. We're swarming right to the ball on defense, on special teams. We're swarming, right? We want to have as many guys running to the ball as possible where they think we have um, 12 people on the field. So we, <laughs> we want to be as fast as possible, as violent as possible. So, and for me, when it comes to the community, I've always, right, I've always enjoyed working with, working with kids in whatever capacity, we've put on a lot of uh, youth camps, right? Just seeing the young athletes. And I, I just know how young athletes, they look up to, you know, if you're NFL player, they look up to guys like that's their hero. So as much as we can get our guys involved with younger athletes, going to schools, reading the kids, I really enjoy working with the young people as much as possible. When I was playing here, we started a, uh, a Thanksgiving drive over at Fifth Ward and we provided turkey, Thanksgiving meals for a ton of people. And to see how many, it was thousands of people lined up, right, to come through. And I wasn't even realizing at the time how many people probably didn't have enough money to have a, sit down and have a Thanksgiving meal with their family. So any way we can impact people, right, in the community, I mean, I'm, I'm all for it. Nice. New kids on the block? <laughs> Man. Do you have any artists that you like? Ah, <laughs> uh, see, Bun B up there. Gotta like be rocking a little Bun B. <laughs> uh, how's it going, man? Yes, man, sir. Great to meet you, hey, man. man. I'm so great. happy, man. man. You know, everybody's happy you here, oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. We man. fired up, brother. Fired yes, up, sir. man. Great. I would say welcome, but, you know, <laughs> shit, it's your house. <laughs> nah. I'm the guest. <laughs> no. Hey, awesome, man. You know, me Thank and Johnny want to make you some grills. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, me and Johnny. Maybe I need grill. some. We're going to get you some welcome. Yeah. Some, some coach grill. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the coach grill. No, man. We're fired up, excited, course, man. man. Feeling the. Excitement from everybody to buzz, man. You know, fired up to be back at Ace Town. You man. know it. Yeah. Everybody's so hyped, bro. Man. Especially Texas fans. You man, know. what? Yeah, like, we got to yeah. gotta make it rock, yeah. right? Yes, That's sir. The thing, getting that stadium rocking. That, get, can't thank you enough for stopping course, by, man. man. You yes, the man. Sir. You the yes, man. Sir. Can't yes, thank you sir. enough, though. Yes, sir. Appreciate Definitely. your support, yeah, though. For sure. Coach Paul said he's a professional fan. 
Yeah, I was gonna see. You. I know, you know, I know, I know you're hiring staff. Professional I know fan. you're hiring staff. I need. So a, I'll take a need professional, professional fan. fan. We can go. Oh, yeah. We can do that yeah, for please. sure. Sign, sign that. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, you know, I, I can't offer too much on the hey. X's and O's side. Come I, on, I, man. You, you got you got that too. But I'm a professional fan. <laughs> Whatever going on, I'm cheering. I'm gonna be right there. Yeah. Hey, we love it. Let's we go. need that yes, as many as we can get. Thank you. Man. Nah, Paul, man, can't thank you enough, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching and go Texans. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell for new content.